the finale of my Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. In our previous chapter, it turns out Liquid was running a joke trick on Solid Snake the entire time. Due to the fact that Osla had killed Donald Aronson during the interrogation, Boxhound was never able to learn his code. So, in a means of finding it out, they sent Decoy Octopus, now disguised as Donald Aronson, to find out what Snake knew. However, before anything else could be done, Octopus succumbed to the uh, Fox Dye virus. It turns out Naomi, on the orders from the Pentagon, was sent, sent in to um, uh, inject Snake with the virus in order to recover the bodies of the Genome Army, Boxhound, and Metal Gear Rex undamaged while having Snake killed off. However, Naomi double crossed them and had put Jim Houseman, the Secretary of Defense, on an alert. After Snake had failed maliciously against Metal Gear Rex, and at the cost of life of his friend, Gray Fox, the mech was finally destroyed. But Liquid was never done. He finally reveals the truth about his and Snake's existence. In the 1970s, the U.S. started the Le Téléphone Terrible project. The goal of the project was to create an artificial clone or a replicate of the world's greatest soldier. The template was none other than Jack Sears, a.k.a. Big Boss. Oh, I'm sorry if I got the name wrong, but we already know his name is Jack. And we know Sears is like a fake name of... But, you know, I digress. However, since he was infertile due to nuclear testing at Bikini Atoll, and yes, not to a wound in combat, Big Boss was rather infertile. So, with the complete use of 20th century analog cloning and the Super Baby method, Snake and Liquid were created through octuplets. However, their six other brothers were created and sacrificed in order to provoke strong fetal growth. Liquid and Snake were finally born, but they weren't done. They decided to split the genes of both of the uh, they were harvested from Big Boss between the brothers. Supposedly, Liquid was the inferior. Enraged at this, he decided to make his life ambition to ruin the work of Big Boss. But since Snake killed him in Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, Liquid felt cheated and decided to focus his animosity towards Snake. After killing Kazuhura Miller and manipulating Snake to launch Metal Gear Rex, he then explains that he has no choice but to kill Snake in order to re nullify his genes. A vicious fistfight took place on Metal Gear Rex, and soon, Liquid had fallen. With Meryl now rescued, Snake decides to leave since the Pentagon now decides to launch a nuclear strike on Alaska in order to stop any witnesses from explaining what happened on the island. Houseman, enraged that they only double-crossed him, was personally seeing this operation. Campbell, Snake's friend and the commanding officer of his mission, tried to avert the strike, but was arrested. According to Don Jim Houseman, Donald Anderson was supposed to return with Metal Gear's dummy nuclear warhead test data. But that was the sticking point that set him off. With Meryl still alive, Snake now heads out of the uh, compound. Alright, keys! I got it, Snake! Jump in! Snake, hold on! Hurry, get in! <laughs> what are you doing?
fight yet! Liquid! shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Snake! He's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. You should think you should be staying around here? What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake. I'm not a colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. 
you two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. What? He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were, and I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life and then live don't you think snake don't worry i'm going to choose life too until today i've always looked for a reason to live but from here on i'm going to just live genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, 
teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. Wait, don't we help him get it out? I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time. But Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on. Let's enjoy life. Holly White, back in Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. In 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world of all times. The destructive power amounts to 1 million times that of the Hiroshima bomb. Since 1993, START 2 was signed between the U.S. and Russia to reduce the supply nuclear warheads from 1,000 to 3,000 each. However, as of 1998, there are still 26,000 nuclear warheads still in existence. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. You know, I could skip the... Wait a minute. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Awesome. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox Dye should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. 
No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. Whoa. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. My spiritual nickname. Puma. Yeah, I know I play on easy. Yes, I know. I got spotted seven times. I used six rations and I had, dot, had to be killed four times. But who cares? This was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. But whoa. Mr. President, huh? I feel a sequel coming along, folks. But don't worry. I'll let y'all vote on that if I should continue the series or not. As of now, this does the end of Metal Gear Solid. This was a very, very personal game to me. Not because just, you know, oh, well, I have a fandom of PlayStation and such. No. When this game first came out, when I first played its demo, I played it with my older brother who's no longer with us. By the time I hit 12 years old, he managed to beat the game and I wanted to play it. By then, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty or Substance coming out. I got this game when I was about 12 years old, first time, own, at a pawn shop. Ever since then, me and him always played these games. He always beat it without getting spotted or getting killed. Me, it took me like, yeah, about this same many times, if not two times less. But that's why I'm gonna have like an actual controller, not using the Xbox. And as you can see, as we saved Meryl this time, we were given Snake's infinite bandana for a special item now. And that, folks, is the end of Milligar Solid. I thank you so much for joining me on this game. It was a personal endeavor of mine, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope you enjoy the story as much as I did. I'm sorry I skipped the credit thing. I didn't think you guys would want to see it, but you know what? Next time when I ever play this game, I will play the credit theme. I love that theme song. Anyhow, this is what we'll call the uh, stream to a close. I thank you so much for all the support y'all did for me. Well, thank you too, Princess. And I think it was cool too. Hopefully I didn't screw this stream up too bad. But this will do for now. Join me tomorrow. And we'll begin our next vid uh, schedule streaming. The next game we will stream, Final Fantasy VIII. Until then, this is your boy, Jaiyun42090. Wishing y'all good luck. To Princess Paws. Since it's past your birthday about 52 minutes, 53 minutes ago, I'd like to say happy belated birthday. I hope it turns well, and I thank you for watching. I thank all the viewers who watched me on this game, on this stream, and also for those on YouTube who are commenting on it. Join me again tomorrow for the next game stream. Until then, good night, God bless, and happy gaming.